Well, I'm happy for the seniors. I don't think there's too many groups that go through here as a senior class that can say you never lost your rival. And I think that's important to those guys. So it was awesome. I thought it was good team ball today. Um, you know, defense, great job once again. Really playing that kind of bend but don't break. It's not about yards, it's about points. And uh, we got some turnovers, it's some real timely situations. And, um, you know, they got one too. Had, had they not got that one, I think it would have made things a lot easier, a lot easier on us. But they did a good job holding the ball. Uh, you know, Dinkin and Duncan getting, getting a lot of yards eating clock, but fortunately when it was, you know, time to score points, there wasn't a lot of points scored on their side. So I'm just proud of how these kids rallied and, and finished. Did you see anything from Washington State today strategically that you think that was different from past games? Or was it pretty much the same? <clears throat> no. They, they, they run the same offense every single game, and they do a good job with it. Um, but like I said, I thought our guys were patient. They tackled well. We knew that was going to have to be a big key. If to, you know, if they're going to throw it underneath to, to Borgie and company, you, you better tackle them because they're, you know, those guys are slippery and hard to tackle. And we did a good job with that. What do you see from Jacob, just in terms of being able to bounce back today? Yeah, um, yeah. I thought I thought we took a step forward there. You know, he was able to set his feet a little bit and threw some good balls and. Um, yeah, I thought there was a step forward. We still had one. You know, it's hard It's hard to miss those ones that are really open that are going to maybe score, but there was progress there. And, um, you know, that's what it's about. It's about progress and improvement. I thought he took a step. What do you think you guys did so much success going to tight ends? Well, we got good tight ends. I think it starts with that. Um, and when you got good players, you know, at certain positions, you need to figure out ways to get them the ball. And, you know, sometimes that play action game, we try to slam the ball in there and you can slip the tight ends behind the um, behind the linebackers and, you know, let them make plays. What does it do to your defense when you're able just to run three, you know, attack with three players and effectively? Yeah, that's hard. That's hard on that D line. I mean, we always say it starts with, with the lines, right? I mean, it's going to start with our O line. It's going to start with our D line. And, you know, those guys are rushing three so often. It can get frustrating, it can get hard, it can get tiresome. But to get some sacks, you know, uh, excuse me, get some sacks, you know, rushing three and mixing it up a little bit. I think we got them five times, which is humongous. They don't give up many sacks at all, which is, you know, another credit to those guys and that, that scheme that they have to throw it that much and not give up sacks. But for our guys to get there today, that was a big part of the game. Series, uh, you enlarged your defensive backfield. Did I read that right? What's that? Put another DB out there after the first series. We we, we play six, seven DBs. I mean, we'll, we'll do that on, on occasion, and certainly when they're going to throw it every down, and you know, play five wide outs with the running back being one of them. So that was that was really nothing that new. Uh, speaking of DBs, you guys have been so high on Trent McDuffie, and for the game he had today, how big is that for yep, him? Yeah, I mean, I've been saying, we, yeah, we've been saying it all along. I mean, the kid is as solid as a rock, as a person. Um, you know, like I said, the moment is never too big. He comes from a, you know, some of the best football in the West. He's super well coached coming in here, and Coach Lake and Coach Harris done a great job with him. And you, you knew it was just a matter of time for him to. To, to show up and make some game-changing plays. And, um, you know, even last week when, when there was a touchdown score, I mean, he was right there. You know, the other guy made a great play, and you tip your hat and move on. But um, he's a heck of a player, and he's only going to get better. Previous WSU games, you guys have piled up a lot of rushing yards. But yeah. came out throwing this time. What influenced you to decide that game yeah, you know, and again, I kind of always say this. It's like, okay, we'll take what they're going to give us and maybe where some of our matchups are. And I think it's no secret that everybody's going to put about, you know, 11 guys about eight inches or eight yards from the ball and pack it in there. And we still got to try to run it a little bit. And um, if they were going to do that, then we were going to have to hit some plays downfield. And so that happened today. And, um you know, that's the only way to operate if you're going to run that style is you're going to have to hit some big plays downfield. And that's been a little bit of our problem in the past. You know, is they pack them in there and we know we're not running the ball real efficiently, but if you can't throw it, then you got big problems. We threw a little bit today and that helped. About maybe confidence lacking a little bit in, in big spots this year. Do you sense any greater confidence when, when this game rolls around? Just 
recent history? I don't think so. I don't think it's greater confidence in, in it. But what I do think is, I think those kids played like they need to play and like we're capable of playing in terms of like, it's going to expect it to go four quarters. Um, you got to go earn it in the fourth quarter. You got to go win it in the fourth quarter. And don't expect it to all go good because we have a W on the side of our helmet, you know. And I just think there was there was just a little bit of that at times this year where it's like, I've been saying it forever, you know, there's tremendous parity in this league. And I really think if you don't show up and, and grind them out, you're going to get beat. And I just, I, I felt like the, the mentality was where it needed to be today. You know, 13 points, eight tackles for losses, five sacks. Um, your defensive backs played pretty well, but what's going through your mind when their quarterback has a lot of time to throw like he did at times? Yeah, I mean, it, but it's not about yards. It's about points. And so you're going to have to give that up, and you're going to have to be patient and let them keep, you know, doing those things. And then you got to strike when you can and hold them out of the end zone and make them kick a field goal and sack them when you can and knock them back. And I thought, you know, I thought our guys on defense executed to a T because it is hard, and then he runs around and those – you know, there's a lot of energy on those D linemen rushing three and can get frustrating, but I thought they did a great job because again, it is about points. It's not about how many yards you throw for. It's not even about time of possession, which they, they got us pretty good there. And in the first half, it's kind of hard when they're holding the ball so much and you're thinking, man, we don't have a lot of margin for air. We better score when we get the ball back. But that's what I was kind of saying. I thought it was good team ball today that our offense was efficient enough, you know, to score the points we need to. Our defense stopped them. They were kind of holding the ball and up and down the field, but it's about points. They don't do anything different. I mean, they are what they are. Same defensive game plan? Did Jimmy just dust it off from the last couple Well, of there's, there's some similarities. I mean, we've played them for a long time, and so there's a lot of things that we've had success in the past with that we certainly did again. And, um, you know, I mean, there's a couple, couple little wrinkles in there for sure. Everybody's got a few, but for the most part, it's, you know, similar, similar. Jackson Kirkland close to getting back to this game? He was. He was. But, um, you know, probably if it's pro football, I don't know, you, you might play, not in college football. You know, we'll get him back for, you know, hopefully for the bowl. I mean, he made really good progress this week, and, you know, there was an outside chance, um, but it wasn't worth it. What does your guys' schedule look like going forward these next yeah, couple weeks? We don't really know yet. The kids will um, have this week off, and we'll, we'll do something at the next weekend um, just to, you know, not get too rusty and then figure out what it looks like. Good.